What's up, guys? I'm standing in the office. Uh, Got to put some water in the fish tank, but it's Thursday. Did a did a puny tool haul with Snap on, but uh, I got some real cool stuff too. I ended up uh, it's mechanics lean day too, so catch you guys in a minute. Shut up and sit down. All right, guys. So, snap on Thursday came, grabbed uh, you know a couple small things off of them. You know, it's uh, time to cut back a little bit, just a, just a hair, just a bit. But he had a couple cool things on the truck. Just wanted to show you guys. Um, but I also had a big score on that. If you guys follow the channel, got that uh, that Ram. I got that uh, 99 Dodge 3500 Ram. Rust Belt's going to be getting it soon. Got to jump through all the hoops here in this state to get the mechanics lean process. But today was the day that basically everything inside is mine. You know, I mean, it's kind of we're at the point of no return. So I start to clean this thing out and see what's in it. He said I had some cool stuff in it. But we'll check out what we got from Snap-on and then I'll show you what I got here. All right, guys, just a quick run through on these. These are the things I got from Snap-on. This one I thought was pretty cool. Let me pan out a little bit here. It's uh, it's it's metal. You can kind of shape it and mold it. I don't know if there's uh, we've got a rubberized coating here. I don't know if there's some kind of corded in there or braided snake in there, so you can kind of mold it and bend it where you need it. It's got a nice strong magnet on the bottom, so it stands up. And you could, I've seen these on a few other channels. Not really this brand or this type, but you could hold the wires together and use it for solder. It's like a helping hands for solder. And then what's cool about this is these actually unscrews and you could get extra attachments for it. So on the back here, you could get an attachment, you know, hold your flashlight and put the magnet on the other side. And then you can kind of, you know, get your flashlight where it pointed where you need it. And then, uh, or you could do it on both kind of here, you know, one end of the flashlight, one end in there, and maybe like have the light holding it while you solder it. But yeah, they're interchangeable. Pretty cool. Definitely built well. I mean, this is solid metal here. Like I said, this is like rubberized with like the mold in there. I'm not sure what that is. And then this looks aluminum with the little spring clips there. You just put the wire in there. Looks like it's going to hold a pretty good gauge too. Um, part number on this one, WSC15. Spring loaded, articulating, claws clamp into wires firmly. But yeah, pretty nice tool. Made in the USA. Got this from the Snap-on guy today. AST looks like, but I thought that was pretty cool. Definitely nice. I think I picked this thing up for maybe 45 bucks or something, but it's pretty nice. It's about eight, eight inches tall or nine inches tall. And then I got just a quick, uh, you know, tube cutter, things like that. This one's the ratcheting style one. So you don't have to worry about it being too thick or pulling the line down. You guys know I've been knocking out these brake jobs and fuel line jobs left and right dealing with this rust around here. But this one's pretty nice. It actually looks like a Snap-on rebrand. They probably don't make this. Could probably be another company. I don't know if it says it on the back. Made in Canada. Blah, blah, blah. But yeah, keep it oiled up. But just works like any other one. Except it's a ratcheting type. So... You know, you'll get your line through there. Looks like it does up to, I don't know, maybe quarter inch line. And then just tighten it and kind of ratchet around it. Pretty nice though. Plastic. And then this is metal. It's got the cutting blade inside there. So I picked up that. And then this next one, I got the wireless uh, ground checker basically for 12 to 24 volts. Um, it pretty much just checks ground maybe for those trailer leads or, or to make sure, I know what I could use this thing for is to make sure uh, circuits are good for checking ohms, making sure you know, you're getting a complete circuit, uh, you know, test it on one end and then instead of having a ground wire, you could just you know, touch any ground on the car and it'll light up. Here, let's see if I could get this, uh, I got these rechargeable nine volt batteries here. Let's see if we get it. So you gotta hold the bottom portion of it and then you can see when I touch the, the ground there, it lights up. 
So I thought that was pretty cool. Instead of chasing the wires, and obviously it's, it's just going to be for the ground. It's not you're not going to be able to try to find your uh, power leads, but you know definitely no good grounds instead of dealing with the wires. You know, but you got to make sure you hold it in the right spot. If you hold it up here, it's not going to work. You got to hold it down here to where it makes a complete circuit. I think hold it on the black anywhere on the black or on the sides here. You got to at least be touching the sides. Any, that black strip is probably where the conductor is. So anywhere down here or up here, as long as you're touching it. So thought that was pretty neat. It's got a nice LED inside there. Looks like a capacitor and then a couple chips, chip boards in there. Looks like it's got some screws in there too, so you could probably service it. Definitely decent. I think this was about 60 bucks picked this up for. So that was pretty much the uh the tool haul for this week, right here. Plug this 9 volt back in. It's got a little uh, USB mini. Charge them up. So that was my snap on tool haul. But like I was saying, guys, I got a pretty cool added bonus this week. Uh, got some real cool tools out of that uh, diesel. I, I can't believe it. Like I said, I knew there was some cool stuff in there, but just went through it. I mean, you know, it is what it is, but. Hey, I guess there is benefits to uh, mechanic leaning a car. It, there is some benefits to it, but just want to show you guys some of the stuff we got here. So some of the cool stuff he had in there, the three quarter sockets, chrome sockets, looks like 12 points. Some of this stuff needs to be cleaned up, but pretty cool stuff. I am now the proud owner of this stuff, but pretty big sockets here too. He's got, I probably got the majority of these, 22, two inch, all the way down to, he's got seven eights in here, six point, but pretty cool. There's an impact one in here. Napa brand, thought that said Napa. Yeah, pretty nice. This one's definitely pretty beefy. Three quarters, pretty nice. Nice little breaker bar here. Looks like a three-quarter ratchet. Got that one. A nice case came in it. And then I got the smaller uh, little bit set one I found in there. So, guy missed out, man. He should have paid for his truck. Could have got all his tools back, but I guess his truck's starting to pay for itself now. Got a nice little socket set here. Looks like, uh, I didn't even check out the brand. Looks like these looks like Craftsman. Got a nice Husky ratchet. This ratchet's actually nice too. It's got the, the spin handle on it where you can spin the handle back and forth and it ratchets when you spin it. I got this same one. And then you got a nice longer, looks like old style, made in USA, Craftsman ratchet. And then just some various sockets and rails, some extensions here. Nice little blow molded case. Got a pry bar, 24 inch pry bar. Looks like maybe Harbor Freight or something. Found that in there. And then I got a whole pile of stuff here. We got some stuff, I don't even really know what it is. It looks like this guy was into, uh, I think he was like a construction or concrete or lawn care or something like that. But snap-on screwdriver. Looks like it needs to be warranted. The tips snapped off. Old style handle, got an air chuck, some pry tools looks like, maybe some more Harbor Freight stuff, got some uh, safety glasses, we got some the pencils, those uh, rectangular pencils, carpenter pencils with a sharpener, I didn't even know you could sharpen these with a sharpener, but you needed a knife, got some gloves, brand new, max grip, some disposables, yeah, guys, it's a score. Truck's uh, definitely paying for itself. I got 14 piece. I've seen these around. Um, I know this is like a Crescent brand. I really don't know who sells these, but it's that ratcheting open end where you don't have to pull it off. You can just go back and forth, and it's got that little ball in there that uh, you know lets it loose with a little spring tension on it. But yeah, it looks like 11 16, 3 8, 9 16 half inch, 7 16 and 3 8. And then we got 
Looks like 17, 15, 14, 13, 12, 10, and an eight. So nice 14 piece set. Maybe I'll throw this in the truck or something. Or maybe give it to one of you guys. I don't know, we'll see what we do. Oh, we got some lighting in here, some kind of strobe. I turned it on, all this stuff does work. It's like an amber color. This one strobes amber and white. Got some crescent wrenches here, various sizes. Another screwdriver, probably Stanley or something. Little multi-tool. Some Allen keys. Cool stuff. And then over here, this was like the random stuff in the, do in the doors and in the center console. Got a bunch of pens. I'm gonna go through these things, see if they work. This cool, I uh, thought this was kind of neat. It's actually lead, um, it's like a pencil, probably for steel, to mark steel. And then I saw, definitely starting to pay for itself. I found a sack of pennies in there, and then this little uh, bank, piggy bank, where it counts your money as you put it in. I don't know, it looks to be like, it's all silver. Probably 10 bucks in there. American currency, and then I had some loose chains I grabbed. Nice flashlights. But yeah, what a score, tire gauge. Definitely cool. And here I thought I had a, uh, a light haul this week. Ended up with all this after I went in there. Hey guys, just a quick haul. I mean, it's, uh, it's kind of a relief seeing all this stuff in there. Uh, not to say it's valuable, but hey, you know, tools are tools. It doesn't matter. You know, if the guy didn't want to pay for his car and, you know, I'm out all that money anyways. Not to mention all these hoops that I've been dealing with trying to get this mechanics lien. The money you have to spend on it, taking pictures, certified mail, emails. I had to do dealing with Secretary of State. It's, I mean, it's been a headache, you know, I almost let this one go. If it wasn't for the Rust Belt want in this truck, I, I probably would have let this come and go to the junkyard. I mean, it's, it was that much of a headache, but, you know, to pull this stuff out of it, cool stuff. You know, have some extra tools here, maybe do on some giveaways, send some extra tools home, have, uh, you know, the garage tool set get a little stronger. Cool stuff, you know, but just a quick one, what's going on in the shop, guys, the mechanics lean, things like that. Like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.